I chose PRGS because it was different. The PhD program at the Party Rand Graduate School is a graduate program like no other. In research, this is where uh, the rubber meets the road. Some of the brightest minds on the globe are in this institution. It's really pretty stunning. It completely changed the trajectory of my life. It's a very different environment for a graduate student. The most unique thing about PRGS uh, might actually be that you have to keep explaining to people what PRGS is. What brought me to PRGS was, first of all, everyone knows about RAND and the work it's done over the last uh, 60 years, but also I was introduced to Charlie Wolf. I'm probably the longest uh, enduring RAND staff member ever. It all started in 1970. The very first class, as I recall, was four members of the RAND staff. I think RAND had a very strong motivation to establish a graduate school because graduate students would be surrounded with people doing exactly what they were preparing themselves for. The problems in education, in housing, in health, uh, as well as in international, required analysis and investigation. PRGS was started with the, based on the idea that RAND influenced policy and good decision making. I used to like to say that the hallmark of RAND was that we did not know the answer before the question was asked. It's hard to imagine how RAND functioned without having a graduate school. One of the great things about RAND and about PRGS is that the tools and techniques you learn can be applied into multiple different areas. There's not much of a distinction really between the classes, the dissertation, and the work. We get a lot of instruction on both qualitative and quantitative methodologies. The combination of academic and practical experience I think isn't really offered on a large scale elsewhere. The overarching emphasis is what is the policy impact, what are the policy outcomes, what difference is this going to make. It's definitely not for the faint of heart. The diversity of views that one could get here, the academic rigor. I liked the kinds of people that I was meeting and the researchers that I had the potential to work with. It's a great school and you have uh, perhaps the best student teacher or student professor ratio. Clearly there's this uh, huge synergy that goes on between those who teach and those who are in the class. Mentorship is not a one-way street. None of our faculty teach because they have to. All of them teach because they want to work with students. What it does at its heart, the education at PRGS, is allow the students an understanding of all the ways out there, all the methods out there, to evaluate options. I don't think it is possible to describe the PRGS fellow in one sentence. They come from all walks of life. They offer a really a lot of innovative ideas and how to solve problems. Typical PRGS fellow, um, somebody that's really smart. Extremely diverse in their backgrounds. Uh, I mean, in my class, we had people who are MDs, um, engineers. Psychologists, economists political scientists, lawyers. 21-year-old lieutenants straight out of the Air Force Academy to people in their 30s who have worked overseas in international development and aid and maybe people who have already served in a government somewhere. They come from all over the United States and all over the world. We have 24 different nations representing our student body. They're students that have a desire to achieve, to change the world. What they all have in common is an unwillingness to accept the world the way it is, a belief that through their study, through their talent, through the analytics that they bring to bear in a problem, they can start tackling these problems and make the world a better place. They know how to survive with very little sleep. On-the-job training is a key element and key differentiator of PRGS work from many other universities. Our students don't just get an education, they actually get hands-on experience. This is real work. It's not uh, made up work, it's the real thing. The real world isn't nearly as neatly well organized as you might read about in a textbook. It's been a really amazing, eye-opening experience to get a chance to work on real research projects. You're getting your PhD and you're also getting 
three or four or five years of great work experience as well. When you do things, you learn them much better than when you just read about them. In one project, you can have anthropologists, economists, engineers all coming together to solve one problem. There are hundreds and hundreds of researchers covering virtually every area of public policy. You learn how to work on a team. You learn what you don't know and how quickly you have to know it. And one of the best things it gave me was understanding when it's time to put your pencils down. Well, working on the RAM projects with the on-the-job training to me was one of the uh, you know, most fun parts of, of being there. My dissertation topic was on planning under uncertainty. How economic interventions can support the food security and nutrition of people with HIV. Costs and benefits associated with new information technologies. Assessing uh, potential bioenergy sources from biofuels. Trying to improve the safety, security, and credibility of the Air Force's nuclear enterprise. Examination of China's economic reform movement. Infrastructure uh, provision and impact in Sub-Saharan Africa. Racial disparities in birth outcomes in the United States. With all the talent in this building and all the enthusiasm for research, if you have a good idea, you can almost always find someone who's willing to take you up on it. One of the most important lessons that I've learned is that there's a major difference between what's interesting from an academic perspective and what's useful from a policy perspective. I learned more about how serious issue policy is in the overall life of human beings. I see a group of people who are not here primarily to enrich themselves or even to advance our knowledge of public policy issues, but they're really here for something much larger than that. The world is full of so many problems that need to be tackled in an objective manner. And this school does give them the opportunity to learn about these uh, issues and, uh, and try to change a little bit of the world. I think it's the best place that you can go for an advanced degree. I hope it can continue being as effective, maybe I should say as popular, as capable of attracting students as it has been. If you believe it's important to do, not just study, if you want to make a difference in this world, then you should come to the Pardee Rand Graduate School. What happens here is profoundly special. It is really important. The world is a much better place for this institution being in existence.